So if you're watching this video, you're probably familiar with the Google Cardboard. So it's a simple device where you put your smartphone in there and um, when you look up, down, left or right, your view changes to match your perspective. It's pretty amazing even though it's a very simple device and it, it looks uh, very impressive. So meanwhile, you might have heard of the Samsung Gear VR. And, you know, at first glance, it looks similar to some of the Google Cardboard viewers out there. And you're wondering, why does it cost so much? And not only that, um, it's n compatible only with certain Samsung phones. And they, these are not the cheap phones either. They're, they tend to be high-end, um, late, the latest Samsung flagship smartphones. So why would you go through the trouble of uh, uh, using a Samsung Gear VR? So here's the difference between the two. The Google Cardboard is a completely passive device. Um, at its simplest form, here's a, one, one kind of a Google Cardboard viewer. It consists only of two lenses and a, and a way for, to hold the uh, smartphone in front of it. That's all. Um, the electronics for uh, determining where the, the smartphone is positioned, all that comes from the smartphone itself. Your smartphone has a, a, gyroscope, a gyroscope and accelerometers to help the uh, phone determine where it is or how you're moving it. So Google Cardboard is completely reliant on your phone. The Samsung Gear VR is not just a passive device. It's an active VR headset. It has electronics inside. Um, and you can see here, there's a USB port. And inside the unit, there, it has its own IMU, or Inertial Measurement Unit. Um, in other words, it has its own gyro, its own accelerometer that are more accurate than the ones that are found on your phone. Now, there are other tricks um, that the Gear VR uh, uses, thanks to technology licensed from Oculus. Um, but, you know, at the end, what is the difference? So what if it has all that technology? And here's the answer. If you have a seat... Uh, if you take a seat and you look around you, as you move your head, your view changes, but the objects around you, they stay in place. Obviously, you know, you move your head left and right. It doesn't move any of the objects that are in your view, even though your perspective changes. So keep that in mind. So with Google Cardboard, when you look around, Yes, your perspective will change, uh, but in addition, there will be small movements um, based on, you know, like just the, the way you move your head or um, just your, the inability of the smartphone to completely track your head movement one-to-one. -one. Um, all these tiny errors make the image appear to shake just a little bit and that that subtle um, mismatch between your head movement and what you see is enough to let your mind realize that you're only looking through an image through a viewer and, Everything exists only in the viewer that you're wearing. Now, with the Gear VR, it's different. Um, when you when you're looking through some at something through the Gear VR, the head tracking is so accurate that it appears that the that the objects you're looking at seem to stay perfectly solidly in place when you move your head to the left the, the let's say you're, you're looking at an object like a table the table seems to stay in exactly the same place whether you move your head to the left right up down 
move even turn your head over you know you swivel around 360 you'll see it in exactly the same place and this conveys an illusion that the objects you're looking at have a reality have an existence of their own that they don't exist in the viewer but rather that they exist outside you and that's why it really feels like virtual reality so there are Google Cardboard viewers out there that have large lenses even larger than the ones found in the Gear VR there are some that have better um, isolation where you know it will completely um, block uh, ambient light none of that makes any difference none of them can do what the gear VR does even though they have you know better optics better comfort but better anything else none of them can do the same uh, kind of illusion that the gear VR is capable of of creating a sensation or feeling that what you're looking at is outside of the viewer outside of the headset so one question you might have is do you need special content to take advantage of the gear VR the answer is no of course the gear VR does have its own exclusive content like certain shows videos um, games that are exclusive to the gear VR and in addition there are ways to use the gear VR as a cardboard viewer if you so desire um, but um, when you look at 360 photos or videos using the gear VR they will all have this feeling of, of being solid and out there there are there are videos for example that are available both for cardboard and gear VR if you look to the cardboard version they're not so immersive yes they you know they're all around you but you, there's no illusion that they're truly out there um, on the gear VR if you watch these same videos they create an illusion of immersiveness now um, you don't get so a lot of uh, a strong sense of presence um, you don't get an illusion that you're truly in a different location but you do get a stronger sense of immersion and um, it's actually a very big difference from Google Cardboard it feels a lot closer to um, something like an Oculus Rift or HTC Vive. Now, the one difference between the Gear VR and a full VR system, such as the Rift or Vive or PlayStation VR, is that the Gear VR does not have positional tracking. So, positional tracking means that if if you move your head to the uh, forward or backward or laterally to the left or to the right your view can change for example if there's an object in front of you and you move sufficiently far to the left or the right you'll be able to see behind it um, the gear vr does not have that capability nonetheless it's still a lot better than the google cardboard which has zero a sense of presence and um, very weak sense of immersion. So is it worth getting a Samsung Gear VR? After having tried it, here's my, what I think. I'm an iPhone user and my whole family uses Apple products. We use iPads and iPhones. Nonetheless, I think it's actually reasonable to get a compatible Samsung phone just to be able to use the Gear VR. It's that good. Of course, you don't have to get a new, um, you know, a new, a new S7 or anything like that. This is a used 
has six, and in fact, it's even a little bit damaged. Uh, but that's okay. Um, it, if as long as it works, it, you'll it, you'll be able to use the Gear VR. And if you're lucky enough to have tried the uh, Oculus Rift or H HTC Vive, it'll be more similar to that than the Google Cardboard.